Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Ref Guest. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you for following us on Twitter if you have. We're so excited at how well it's been going over there. So if you don't follow us over there yet for daily Ref Guest challenges, make sure you go follow that account. Also, subscribe to the JM Baseball channel so you don't miss any episodes of Ref Guest from here on in. Today's theme is Pennsylvania-themed because we have a very special Phillies fan in the office today. It's guys that have played for both the Pirates and the Phillies at some point in their career. Let's go. Easy. I don't know much about the Pirates. I know a pretty good amount about the Phillies. I have flipped easy. I Let's flipped see it. it. Let's see it. Pennsylvania strong. Easy. All right. First guy here. Easy. Okay. Easy. Um. Uh, it looks like we have ourselves here a starting pitcher who initially pitched... With the Florida Fishies. To over 200 innings, one, two, three, four, five, six times. So Pittsburgh and Philly at the end of his career. And from 12 to 15. Florida, Toronto, Yankees. <sighs> I'm a young guy, right? Like football is my number one sport. I'm a young guy. Guys who retire in 2015, I always, I always worry about. Went to the Toronto Birds. Ended up with the New York pinstripes. 164 wins, 399 ERA, um, one girlfriend throughout his career. That came in 2008, his one and only. He was, in sure. fact, on that 2009 Yankees World Series team that won. No awards until the last year of his career? Dang. Philly, then Pittsburgh. Is that a st Was he an all star in his final year? I think I know who this is because we got a lot of strikeouts. We got hit by pitch, wild pitch. This right here is a guy that was ostracized during his time in New York, even though he put together one of the best performances of 2009 World Series. Uh, lots of nine plus K per nine innings here. Marlins uh, to Toronto to the Yankees. He was a pitcher. A pitcher on the 2000, on my 2009 Yankees. Starts in Florida. Oh, this is A.J. Burnett. This is a pitcher. Oh, that's A.J. Burnett. But I believe this is starting pitcher A.J. Burnett. This is A.J. Burnett. Oh, um, Burnett. A.J. Burnett. And I'll just throw it out there. I think it's the the pie man himself. Is this, uh, is this A.J. Burnett? A.J. Burnett, final answer? Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, uh, that Toronto is a blind spot for me. All right. Yes. That's an easy one. Why doesn't it say World Series winner over here? That's an award he won, the World Series. It's medium. Medium. Right. Medium. Uh, I am a Pittsburgh Pirate. Started in Pittsburgh. This is a position player now. See, now, this is a guy I think I should get based on him being more recent. We got ourselves a second baseman, dabbled with a little third base. Lots of Pittsburgh early, finished in Philly in 2020. It was a small sample size. Rookie of the year, fifth, silver slugger, Pittsburgh, then to the Mets. Did he get traded to the Mets? The Mets traded him to Milwaukee. And then the Yankees? Infielder. I mean, when he played for the Phillies, holy hell, what position did he not play? <laughs> like, this is wild. Did you just give me one of my favorite players all time? This person's best years were from 2010 to about 2017 when they were playing a lot of second base for the Pirates. I can't remember if Sean Rodriguez was in New York and Miami. I really think it's Sean Rodriguez. I don't know if Sean Rodriguez was ever a silver slugger, though. What, let's do phone a friend now to try and get us to again? hard. Let's do, let's phone a friend to try and get us to hard. Then to the Brewers, then to the Yankees in 2018 at age 32. He played third base, first base. Marlins. Oh, man, this guy's been all over the place. When this guy came over to my Yankees, um, I couldn't believe where they were playing him on the field. <laughs> I was very excited for this guy. I gave this guy a nickname uh, that got to him in the locker room. It was one of the first times... We were realizing the reach of talking Yanks. Well, the guy, what's the guy's name though? It was a party guy, party. We used to like Jake and Jimmy were like, party this guy. Yeah, it was like, for some reason they called him party this guy, even though he wasn't like, he didn't give off any of those vibes. Yo. <laughs> he answers the phone golfing, that's epic. 
<laughs> We're like, dude, he might be in surgery. I don't know. I'm looking for stats that stand out. You know, there's a hyperlink there. It says games by position, and I'm kind of like mentally trying to press it. <laughs> Man, he was good with Pittsburgh. I mean, 18 games with Phillies at the end. That's that's some Trevor Plouffe BS right there. Is he in this? He played like, yeah, he had no right playing the positions he did for the Yankees that year. He played, I had the guy dead to rights. I just don't have his name. Oh, God, I, I know it is. It's the fucking guy. He played for the Mets, too. This guy was a 10-5 and five guy. Give me a little bit. I know who he is. Frazier. Frazier. Todd Walker. Todd Frazier. Todd. Todd Bowles. Uh, <laughs> you're coming for my heartstrings. This is Disco Neil Walker. This is Disco Neil, Neil Walker. I believe this is Disco Neil Walker. Neil Walker played for the Brewers? Neil Walker. But Neil Walker was the first person that popped in my head. Neil Walker, final answer. Neil Walker. Seven years, on the Pirates for seven years, then he went Mets, Brewers, Yankees, Marlins, Phillies. It's Neil Walker. He's right, it's Neil Walker. As soon as you said it, yes! Let's go, nice. All right. Whoa! Oh my God! Whew! He was a problem. Tried out for the team with Trev. Him and Trev as 18-year-old kids. That's a cool story. Yeah. I ain't leaving this room till I get hard. Right, here we go. Here's the hard one. Hard mode. Oakland bad no not back to Pittsburgh just ends up there <laughs> man the pitchers this is where you always this is where you always try to get me because I saw this and I instantly had a name pop into my mind and the last time that happened I was right but the two times before that I was wrong another pitcher so many innings pitch but not that many wins yep it's a pitcher who started in Oakland was on the Phillies from 2008 to 2012. 2004, oh, Oakland, starting pitcher in Oakland, and then traded to Philly. Oakland. Okay, Oakland, Philly, went to Philly, then after that went to the Dodgers. The 2004 A's? Played for the A's for a while. Uh, we got a starter. I thinking of Dan Heron, but I don't think he had any Philly years. I haven't looked at any stats yet, just looked at the teams. <laughs> the guy who popped in my brain was a hefty right-handed pitcher. Pitchers are hard, man. It's a hard one. Traded to the Phillies in the World Series season. To the Dodgers and the Angels and the Kansas City Royals. Oh my God, all the way to the Nationals. I always like to go to champion because I do remember championship teams a bit. And he was in the 2009 Phillies as well. Was in Pittsburgh. Oh, he meets the Pittsburgh requirement that one year. First instinct when I saw the numbers, I didn't see the years. I was looking, I was thinking like Trevor Cahill. Oh my gosh, I'm just seeing his Angels year now. No wonder he stopped. But he was two and fourteen with a six oh four. Oakland Philly. On like really good year. <laughs> um. Okay, let's go to 2009 season. 12 and eight for the Phillies. They made it to the World Series that year. Got traded to the Phillies for their World Series championship year in 08. I mean, he's a starting, am I reading this right? He's a starting pitcher on those Phillies teams in 08 and 09? 2008 to the Phillies. Jeez, nobody pitches well for the Angels. Another name I was thinking, I know it's not right either, is Brett Anderson. Who are you? Who, 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 who? I really want to know. Oh, 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 I, I know him. Oh, I remember him. I I can picture him. I, sw I swear, like this page keeps the numbers keep changing in front of me. Joe Blanton had had popped into my head initially, like just flipped it over. Oakland A's. I don't know if he had that many drift around years, and man, he found something towards the back end. But coming out of the bullpen, interesting. And then they had a nice bullpen year with the Dodgers in 2016. That's wild. Did Joe Blanton start in Oakland? I know he bounced around a bit at the end of his career. I can. I can't think of any other pitcher that the Phillies added to that team in 08. Wasn't that Joe Blanton was like the sixth and then it was a bunch of studs ahead of him? Did he play for 13 years? I might be, this might be a shot in the dark. It's not Mark, Mark Mulder. I mean, this is a guy that's been pitching and I don't know who this is right now. Hudson? Jolly, I think as Stevie Wonder once said, signed, sealed, and delivered. I, I got nothing. This is Joe Blanton. So that Phillies team, Halliday Hamels. 
Joe Blanton. I will guess Joe Blanton. Who else did they have? Oh, they had Joe Blanton. This is... I'm going to go with Joe Blanton. Joe Blanton. Joe Blanton. Well, I mean, there's like a magazine cover that was like the Super... They had some nickname of like the Super 5 and Joe. Who was this? Oh, Joe Blanton. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Joe Blanton. I was never going to guess that. Oh, would never have gotten Joe Blanton. Would never... Would would not have gotten Joe Blanton. Wow. All right. Nice. Woo! Let's go. Tons of three for threes today. How about Dan Canobio, Jimmy, Jake, Shelfie, BBD, Max? All of them are in the trivia round. It's another one of the rapid fire trivia rounds with only one correct answer. Since the year 2000, there's only one baseball player that has hit 40 career home runs for both the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Philadelphia Phillies. Players will have 30 seconds to give me one guess. Let's see how they did. Only player since 2000 hit at least 40 home runs with the Pirates and the Phillies. Um, uh, Schwarber, no. Uh, who, Hoskins, no. Harper, no. Who hits 40 home runs for the Phillies since 2000? Come on. Jim Tomey, no. Um, Phillies home run hitters since 2000. They've had some good ones. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. 40 home runs for the Pirates and the Phillies. But so it wasn't anyone we just did. Because we did two pitchers and Neil Walker. So I'd have to figure out what other guy played for both teams. No idea. I resign. Ooh, Pirates and Phillies. 40 home runs. That's total. It's not It's not 40 homer seasons. Uh, I'm going to say Andrew McCutcheon. I, I have an answer off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. That was my answer off the top of my head. We have some time to brainstorm on it. Fuzzy, don't give him an answer. Let him brainstorm on his own. Don't put any names in his head. <laughs> What'd you say? Kutch. Andrew McCutch. Oh, yeah, that's it. I think that's it. Andrew McCutch. We're locking Andrew McCutch. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uncle Larry's going home. A couple guys are coming to mind. They're Neil Walker, Andrew McCutch, but I don't... Yeah, Walker had like one year with... I think both of them only have one year with the Phillies. Mm, this is going poorly. I'm just gonna guess Andrew McCutcheon. I think it's wrong. Really? I was I. I guess Cutch was on the Phillies for a little while. Pirates in the Phillies, 2000. Um, one guy that comes to mind, but I don't know if he got enough homers. It's the name in my head. I don't think it's right. I think it's who you want me to guess. I will guess Andrew McCutcheon. Well, plenty of winners today. I guess I got to make it harder for next week, but congratulations to BBD, Jake, Shelfie, and Max for winning today's trivia and winning the three for three on Ref Guess. Guys, make sure you subscribe to JM Baseball so you don't miss next week's episode. Make sure you leave us a like and a comment letting us know how you did, and we will see you next week for another episode. Stay tuned, and thank you for watching.